Hi everybody, Adam Holman here from Integrated Machinery Systems. We are your value-added reseller for Mark Forge 3D printers in Indiana and Illinois. And I'm fresh off a trip to New Orleans for the first ever Mark Forged Global Partner Summit. Three days of all things Mark Forged. If you haven't had any exposure to the guys at Mark Forged, it's pretty incredible. It's a company that is made by engineers, for engineers, and their goal is to have things that just work. It's amazing. It was my first opportunity to see in real life the new Metal X system that should be hitting the markets in about a month or so. They're going to be releasing 17-4 stainless steel. They're also going to be printing with 316L, A2, D2, Inconel, titanium, aluminum, and eventually copper. All this out of one system with no powders, no lasers, no hazmat suits, no fiddling. It just works. And I'm really excited about seeing it come out because it definitely has the opportunity to be a very disruptive technology. I don't want to oversell it, but it's pretty awesome. So the reason I'm here today is to show off another sample that we made. This is a grinding fixture for some carbide pieces. And what it's got going on is three bores on the inside and these three liners. I'll show you up close what we've got here. We've got this large block which took up most of the build plate. And it's got these three bores inside of it. And as you can see in this bore, it is round with a flat on it to orient the part. That would be very difficult to build with tra traditional subtractive techniques. We also have these holes in the side. And what you can't see, which is really tough, uh, is inside the bore here, right on the other side of this circle, is a hollow hex. And what we're going to do is put a hex inside of that, put a hex nut inside of that, to give some threads to be able to lock in these liners. And this is the part that the workpiece that is going to be ground will get pressed into. It also has the same kind of configuration. It's got a hole with a hollow hex on the inside that you can't see. And these just slide in here just like that. So it's a fairly unique setup, but something that is very indicative of what you can do with a Mark Forge 3D printer. So a couple of things that we added to this to make sure that it's extra strong is around these holes, we put a couple layers of fiberglass reinforcement to keep that nut from pulling through. Did the same thing on this block. You can actually see it if you look real close, but there's some kind of lines that show where the fiber routing was put in. So we've got three of these liners and three bores. This block itself was about $105 worth of material. These were about $11 worth of material. So for somewhere in the neighborhood of $135, we've got a grinding fixture that you can run production parts on. Didn't have to tie up a CNC mill that could be making parts out of metal that can be sold to customers. This print took two days, 15 hours, and this was about a day's worth of printing here. So starting on Thursday afternoon, come in Monday morning, I'll be about ready to go. So as you can see back here, we've got the Onyx Pro doing its thing as well. And uh, I've got another sample coming off of there. That is for a gearbox for a robotics competition. I'll have a review on that coming up in the very near future. Got any questions, please contact us at Integrated Machinery Systems, www.imscnc.com. Thanks for watching this video and please let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Thanks a lot.